In response to a poll revealing that one-fifth of Americans think that Barack Obama is a Muslim, the White House said Thursday that the president is a Christian who prays daily. His favorite prayer, God, please let the American people stop being so stupid. <laughs> Researchers say plumes of oil from the Gulf spill have traveled farther east than previously expected. On the bright side, the plumes have returned with exotic silks and spices. <laughs> an Iowa egg producer is recalling 228 million eggs after an outbreak of salmonella said one company farmer. Well, we're all a little shell-shocked. <laughs> Boy. Don't we have tainted egg on our face? <laughs> but rest assured, we're doing everything we can to unscramble this situation. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, when I get flustered, I just have a tendency to crack yolks. <laughs> a new report ranks Harvard as the top university in the country. The worst university in the country is, once again, Date Rape Community College. <laughs> On Friday, Haitian officials announced that Wycliffe Jean will not be allowed to run for president. However, Wycliffe will be allowed to interrupt the speeches of other candidates by occasionally saying, one time, or two times. <laughs> On Wednesday, a man fell 25 feet while waiting in line for a ride at Disney's California Adventure, commented the park supervisor. We feel really terrible about this incident. And we would have offered him immediate medical attention, but unfortunately, he didn't have a fast pass. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Gibson crashed his car last Sunday when it swerved into a hillside. Gibson hit the hill because it wouldn't give him the blowjob he fucking deserved. <laughs> And now, where hard news meets Hollywood, for the entertainment news, our very own Pepper Jenkins. I gotta get my dance on, because it's been a minute. Okay, so, thank you. So Sylvester Stallone said this week he has an idea for The Expendables 2, and also The Expendables 3 and four, and five, and six, and seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Robert De Niro turned 67 on Tuesday. When friends wished him a happy birthday, De Niro responded. You sing a happy birthday to me? <laughs> Sing a happy birthday to me? Well, I'm the only one here turning 67. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you're singing happy birthday to? You dead! <laughs> Tragic death of the publishing industry. 
On Monday, the state of New Jersey voted to officially ban the word retarded from all state and official documents, which means state officials now have no way to describe the cast of the Jersey Shore. <laughs> BBC weatherman Tomas Schaffernacker has apologized for flipping the bird during a recent newscast. The weatherman explained that he was under a lot of high pressure. <laughs> French scientists have determined that pouring champagne in an angle preserves the flavor better than pouring champagne straight into the glass. Commented one of the scientists. <laughs> This is the proudest moment of my career. You see, when my doctor diagnosed me with incurable cancer AIDS, <laughs> I knew that research was my only hope. I also knew that I did not want to spend my last six months on this earth drinking flavorless champagne. Zut alors, mon dieu, sacre bleu. <laughs> A new study shows that teens who have casual sex tend to perform more poorly on tests than teens who abstain, except on pregnancy tests. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday, Frank Ryan, who was Heidi Montag's plastic surgeon, passed away as a result of a car accident. Montag reportedly was so upset that tears were streaming down her forehead. <laughs> Florida were able to help free a bear whose head was stuck in a jar for 10 days. He's all right, folks. <laughs> Unfortunately, they could not help the tiger with HDAD, the pig with social anxiety, or the donkey with severe depression. <laughs> and now an in-depth look at the, one of the week's big stories, the segment that is twice as important as AC360, Philip Wilburn, and TSW 720. Immigration is one of the hottest issues in the 2010 congressional campaign. So tonight, TSW 720 will present a debate on immigration. Presenting an argument in favor of immigration is our own Brian O'Connell. <laughs> And to make the argument against, please welcome Carlos Mencia. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, uh, you, you heard that uh, they're trying to build a wall to keep the Mexicans out? Huh? Well, if they get rid of the Mexicans, who gonna build the wall? Who gonna build that wall? <laughs> Truly, truly terrible. <laughs> First of all, that's not an argument. Second of all, you stole that from a Jewish comedian who's a friend of mine. And third, it's just racist because you're actually Dutch and Honduran. <laughs> Sounds like to me a demonstration of the consequences of an open immigration policy, so I'm gonna allow it. Now, Carlos, answer me this. How does one enforce checks on citizenship without sacrificing pri uh, privacy? Well, no, you answer this for me, Philip. Why is it that black people can get on a bus for the Million Man March, but they can't get on a bus to escape Katrina? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, that doesn't answer the question, well, and somehow is more racist. <laughs> Actually, he's just demonstrating firsthand the danger presented by unfunny immigrants coming here and stealing Americans' jokes. But Amer <laughs> Americans are unwilling to tell those jokes. <laughs> you ever notice? <laughs> Philip, you ever notice that white people debate like this? Me, me, me. And Mexicans debate like this? Muy, muy, muy. <laughs> You're making Martin Lawrence look talented right now. Do you know that? <laughs> the point, Philip, is that he's already here. We don't know that there'll be another immigrant that will come here and be as unfunny as him. I shudder to think. <laughs> That's not a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, oh, you know what? My mom had eight kids. And I said to my mom one time, Mom, why do you have so many kids? She had 18. She said, oh, well, Carlos, they're not all winners, right? <laughs> oh. oh, good point, Carlos. It's, it's not, it's not. It doesn't, it doesn't have a good point. point. I'm, afraid, I'm afraid we're out of time. Okay. Brian, would you like to give your closing statement? Look, please do not let 
your seething, blinding hatred for Carlos Mencino <laughs> turn you off to all Latinos, because he's not. <laughs> and they're good people. Carlos, where are my beaners at? <laughs> Carlos Mencino wins, yes. everyone. His name Brian is Ned Connell and Carlos Mencino, everyone. His name is Ned Holness. <laughs> Ned Holness, don't you know that? You got home, son! Oh, so You know, we had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> but Carlos Mencia is no joke. <laughs> if you or someone you love has been exposed to Carlos Mencia, please call a doctor immediately. <laughs> they can help. <laughs> and finally, Kenny Rogers turned 72 on Saturday. If Kenny doesn't keep count of his age, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. <laughs> the Top Story Weekly, I'm Philip Wilburn.